What's up everybody? Jeremy, back again with another exploration. So today we're in Eastern France and we're about to explore this amazing abandoned castle that was originally built in the 15th century. There's not a whole lot of records on this place over the last few hundred years of who all's lived here, but the last known person was a man who was a winemaker. And when he died in 2003, this place has been abandoned ever since. But before I take you all throughout the inside of this place, I wanna first take you outside and show you how magnificent it is and give you some history on this place. In today's episode, we're stepping inside of an abandoned castle just a few hours outside of Paris, France. More than likely, this castle was originally built by a French nobleman during the early Renaissance period. And at the time, it was one of the largest castles in France, boasting 15 bedrooms, 11 stables, a great dining hall, and a full-time staff of servants and cooks to work for the family. Throughout the years, it changed owners many times until it was finally abandoned in 2003 when the last known family to live here suddenly moved away and left everything inside after the father of the family died. And for nearly two decades, it's remained a mystery why they left all of their belongings sealed inside this majestic place they once called home. So join me as I venture into this secret 15th century castle to step back in time and find out what's still left inside. Okay, so right out the gate, we're already met with some pretty amazing furniture. Also, some amazing architecture. So right now we're in this turret of this castle. There's a black marble fireplace here with this blood red Persian rug, a nice pop of color in this very clean white room. And I love this circular door. This is pretty amazing. And the attention to detail in this place already is incredible. And oh my God, look at this room, guys. This thing is huge. And this furniture is still in immaculate condition. Of course, there's a piano in here. And look at all this detail and the woodwork on the walls. Look above there. Incredible, guys. Of course, there's a marble fireplace and there's gold details on it. With a big, massive mirror. And a taxidermy deer still on the wall. There's just beautiful, beautiful pieces in this house. This cabinet is stunning. And I feel like this is only the beginning of the furniture that we're gonna see in this place. Look at this, this is incredible. This right here is all hand carved into this cabinet. This is incredible. It looks like perhaps maybe they were dogs of the owners here at one point. Maybe there was their hunting dogs. Incredible guys. And you know, I gotta say for being abandoned for 20 years, this place is still very clean. The furniture looks very clean and there's only like a light coat of dust on the floor. It's just a very undisturbed castle, secretly hidden in the woods in this town. And look at this, a baby carriage. And of course, a cabinet full of china. Perhaps right here was their breakfast room 
beautiful floors down below with that diagonal design. These ceilings right here have to be at least 20 feet tall. Okay, right here is the main entrance of this house. So this right here is right when you walk in the front door. And look at this. Look at these big wooden doors. No telling how old these things are. And this mosaic tile on the floor. Incredible. And of course there's spider webs. It, it just feels like an abandoned castle when you see that. And just look at this grand entrance of this castle. Absolutely incredible. And look above us. And I've noticed there's like a dent in the floor right here. And I believe this is probably from a drain pipe, which means there was probably a fountain in this mosaic floor once upon a time. And there wasn't a big rug here. I imagine it was all mosaic floor and there was a fountain when you first walk into this castle. And guys, look at this grand staircase. One of the biggest staircases I've ever seen in a castle. I gotta say, it's extremely unfortunate that someone graffitied this stairway. Don't get me wrong, I'm supportive of all types of art, but it just seems a bit self-indulgent to spray paint onto the walls of such an amazing historical place. All this furniture is still here. I can imagine someone just sitting here in the morning time, reading the morning newspaper, maybe sitting here with his cup of tea. And this right here looks like a, perhaps a bar. What's in this very strange looking door here? What? It's an entire chapel inside of this place. It's just crazy to think that someone had their own chapel. They could just walk in here at any point and tend to their religious business. If anybody can read this, let me know what this says in the comments below. I'm very curious. Look at this altar. I cannot believe I'm in here right now. I'm having my mind absolutely blown right now. And look at these stained glass windows over here. Everything is perfectly intact. This is the confessional booth where the priest would probably sit right here and the person confessing would sit here. And look, even up top, there's just so much attention to detail with these hand paintings and this woodwork, the crown molding. Even though this place is abandoned and it's becoming pretty dilapidated in some areas, it's still so magnificent, still glorious. All right, so let's see what else is in this place. So we haven't been over here to the right yet. 
So I think that's where we should go next. I love this checkered floor. Imagine this was probably the butler's staircase. And down here is probably the butler's pantry. Oh, wow. Guys, this is incredible. This big butcher's table here in the center of the, of the room. And look at all these marks on this table where a knife has been used to prepare meals throughout the years. Just so many things about this room is very medieval. Like these cabinet doors, this old oven. We're taking an actual tour through a museum going back in time. A wine bottle still on the table. And I imagine these shelves are probably fully stocked with china. And people who would live in these castles obviously wouldn't cook their own meals. They would have their own personal chef and people working here in the kitchen. Let's keep going. Definitely a butler's pantry, it looks like. I love this checkered floor. So many artifacts still in these drawers. I could spend days in this castle looking through all the cabinets and never see it all. Maybe even weeks. Oh, and look at this. Look at this beautiful green room with a rug that matches the wall. So many antiques in this place, like priceless items. It's like a little hidden room tucked away in the corner of this castle. And usually where there's a kitchen close by, there's a dining room. So I imagine it's over here, connected to this butler's pantry. And here it is. This is incredible. It's a complete time capsule in this room. All this china still in the cabinet. This beautiful blue velvet couch that used to match this wall. You see where the color is different? That's where a painting used to sit, where the wall's not faded. You can tell like over the years of the sun coming through it faded the wall. Another beautiful blue velvet couch. And the furniture pieces in this room is breathtaking. So much attention to detail in all this furniture. Like even this simple leather chair. has so much attention put into it. And look at this. This is the man who owned this place last, the winemaker and his wife. 
Look at this couch. How it matches the other blue couches with gold accents that matches the rest of the room. And this furniture is in immaculate condition. And of course you have this beautiful dining room table. With the china still left out. All the chairs neatly tucked. It's so wild to see that this place is just sitting abandoned like this in such amazing condition. It looks like at any point a family is gonna walk into the house and they're gonna come home to their castle. All right, so now that we've pretty much seen everything downstairs of this castle, I think it's now time to go upstairs. This has gotta be one of the biggest stairways I've seen in an abandoned building. It's a very well-built stairway with very thick wood handrail. And guys, look at this. This view coming down the stairs. It's so beautiful. All right, so it's coming up the stairs. It already looks incredible. And right here at the top of the stairs, you have this like sort of like balcony that overlooks the foyer when you first walk in downstairs. And here, you could probably have a nice view of the fountain down below. I've only seen this type of architecture and design in probably one other place that I've explored. It's a very rare thing to come across something like this in an abandoned building. And there in the background, you see this 15 foot picture frame. And this picture frame was an actual painting of the daughter of the person who lived here. Perhaps maybe someone took the painting from the frame and they moved it to another house, maybe in another country. And of course, there's the piano at the top of the stairs. All right, let's see what's behind this door to the left. I'm gonna hit my light here. first bedroom we've come across so far and it's completely intact and we're now starting to run into some decay I love the wallpaper in this room it's very elegant and look at this these small details in the wood of the bed frame If you notice, there's green carpet in this bathroom. And look at how tall these ceilings are in this bathroom. This has gotta be at least 16 feet tall. It's wild. There's a book collection over here in their bedroom. Looks like a lot of novels. Probably all French novels, of course. It's a beautiful piece, again. And look how here, there's actually no keyhole, but it's just a little ornate design. Yeah. Wow, it looks like another bedroom back here. I have a feeling this castle is just gonna keep going and going. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Wow, guys, look at this room. Ah, oh, and this white marble fireplace. And look how clean this mirror is. This room is in immaculate condition. And this beautiful wardrobe. Absolutely blown away by the beauty of this room. Okay, so this is down the hallway, coming out of this bedroom. And look at these windows that overlooks maybe a crop back in the day. And now we're coming down this hall and look at this beautiful room. 
Perhaps this was a little girl's room at some point. It's a complete time capsule in this room as well. And I have to say, this is probably one of the saddest rooms I've been in so far. It's just like the family up and vanished and left everything behind. Okay, now this is coming back down the hallway we started from. And it looks like there's probably another bedroom here to the right. So let's check this bedroom out. This room is strikingly beautiful. And look how this bed matches the wallpaper perfectly. It's the exact same upholstery that they used for the bed on the wall. This is incredible. Here we have some black mold, definitely some water damage in this room. So far, this is the most beautiful but dilapidated room we've seen. And check out this wardrobe. It's over here in the corner. Still has all the uh, original linens inside of it. Some of their clothes, some sheets pillows, blankets, and here's the original comforter that was on the bed, the comforter that matches this wall. And I love how this red marble fireplace perfectly matches the wallpaper of this room. So much attention to detail in these places. I wonder if this photo right here is perhaps a relative. Okay, now we're going into the right wing of this castle. And this is the second floor. We're greeted with the butler's stairs. So it's definitely a lot darker up here so far than it was downstairs in the hallway. And here's another bedroom. Again, in immaculate condition. Considering the, the decay that's already starting to happen. See, check this out. That's a lot of black mold growing on the wall. So I don't want to spend too much time in this room. We got Carter and Steve over here joining me on this. Yep. All right, so now we're coming out of this bedroom. It looks like we're going to go down some stairs into another one. And this is a very large room. You know, we've gotten pretty lucky on this exploration. Not only are we able to witness some amazing architecture, but even the decay in this place is absolutely beautiful. Probably the most ransacked room of the house so far, but look at this beautiful wallpaper. I love like that botanical wallpaper look. It's so weird to see like modern appliances in such an old building like this. But you have to consider, you know, these buildings have been repurposed throughout the years. So it's been updated over the years. So let's go back down this hallway that we came and um, let's go into this next section of this upstairs. Okay, going into this next bedroom here. Wow, look how big this bedroom is. I imagine this right here was the master bedroom. And look at this amazing mirror and this beautiful wallpaper. And this brown marble fireplace. Such a big room. And I believe that bed over there is actually a California king size bed. And look how small it looks in this room. And I 
wonder if some of these items were the original items that were in this room, like this couch. I imagine it matches the blue theme of the walls. And again, another amazing piece with very detailed woodwork. And it looks like a scene, perhaps maybe this mother and child giving money to an old man. Okay, it looks like we've entered another really pretty bathroom. Of course, with the classic clawfoot tub. And I really like the trim colors in here. And it looks like there's a door here. And look at this door, it's like the shape of the, of the room. But let's see what's in this room. Oh my God. Guys, what? an entire library, a hidden library. anything like this in my life. Look at these old Singer sewing machines all in a row. I wonder why they had so many in here. And this desk with this beautiful velvet red chair. And look at the size of these books down here. There's black mold growing on some of them. It's really sad. Guys, I'm absolutely speechless. There's even more books over here lighting this wall. And I love the green with this deep red wall. I imagine before this wall was faded, it was almost like a blood red. And look at this. These are the lids to each of these Singer sewing machines. anything like this in my life. I can't even imagine all the hours that were spent in this room in their own personal library. Only the place of a very wealthy person. It looks like there's one last floor of this castle that we haven't seen, and it looks like the only way up is through the servant stairway. So let's check out what is up here. Perhaps maybe the servants lived up here to be on 24 seven call for the people who lived here. We'll go right first. Okay. It's a really nice bedroom and a beautiful couch. The couch kind of reminds me of the, the couch in the dining room downstairs. A big Persian rug in the floor. Honestly, guys, I have to say, I didn't really expect much coming upstairs like this, but again, we've just found another complete time capsule room. So I believe this probably was a servant's quarters at one point because of how simpler the architecture is 
and how they didn't really splurge on putting a marble fireplace in here. They just put like a simple wood fireplace for the servants. Okay, now we're gonna go to the left wing. So we've got another bathroom here and another bedroom. I've seen this style wallpaper in quite a bit of castles here in France. It's a very common theme to have these scenes, perhaps maybe farmers working the land or people rowing a boat. And it's in these exact colors, like this off-white with like a red or a pink. It's very elegant. Let's keep moving along, shall we? So this rope right here, and I'm not gonna pull it because it's attached to a bell at the top of this castle. I would pull it, but I don't wanna signal anyone, but this is absolutely amazing. Another large room, again, with beautiful wallpaper and a beautiful bed. Wow, what is this type of wood? I've seen so much furniture in this house that could go for thousands of dollars. It's just crazy to think that it's all just sitting in this building, waiting for nature to reclaim it. I don't know how many bedrooms we've seen in this castle. Wait, there's more over here. And what is this? So this right here looks like attic space. This is really neat looking. It's kind of creepy in this attic. I thought there would be something interesting over here, but Looks like just, oh, and there's a bat right above my head. Of course there's a bat. We haven't seen a castle yet without one. It's funny, earlier I was thinking about how we hadn't ran into any bats on this exploration. And of course, right at the end of the exploration, that's when we finally encounter one. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a rush. All right, so as soon as we step outside the window of this place, there was a guy walking right up on us. We definitely didn't want to stick around and have conversation with him because we really don't know what his intentions are. So now we've basically dipped off into the woods and we're exiting the property as quickly as possible. That was impeccable timing. If you've made it this far in the video, I just wanted to explain a little bit of what happened at the end of this exploration. So as we were about to leave, we heard a group of men walk in and we believe they were there to loot some of the precious valuables that were still left inside the castle. Obviously we didn't want to be noticed by them. So we slipped out one of the back windows. And as I was crawling out the window, I looked over about 50 meters and I saw this man approaching us with something in his hand. We didn't really know his intentions, but I imagine it probably wasn't good. So of course, we dipped off into the woods and we got away as quickly as possible, as you saw in the footage. But really, this all goes to show that you really never know what you're getting yourself into when you're exploring these abandoned places, whether it be nature, the building falling apart, or my worst fear, other people. At any rate, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Also, check out my Patreon in the description. You can help support my channel by giving a small monthly donation in exchange for exclusive abandoned videos. As always, like and subscribe for more videos like this. And until next time, stay off the beaten path.